Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Welcome to the weekly update. Weekly update. I am Frazzleberry. I'm the guy who makes this show. <laughs> how you doing? Welcome. Welcome to the weekly update. Alright guys, what's up? Um, Yeah, not much going on, but I'm starting to feel a little sick, you know, I got like a sore throat, runny nose and stuff. I don't know, you tell me. But uh, hey, got some news, man. We got some, we got some stuff to watch, right? Alright, so uh, let's start off with uh, Shippuden 283. Mainly it was a, I don't know, it's kind of like just an episode where they talk, um, like an inspiration episode where, um, you know, like one character doesn't believe, and then like the whole episode is them trying to make him understand, and, um, basically Raikage doesn't believe Naruto and Killer B can't stand a chance against pain because the war is about protecting them, and it's not right that they have to go fight and all that, and... Naruto does his whole speech about how his family believes in him, so he's gonna do the right thing and he won't fail. And... Um, it was a pretty good speech though, and everything. Um, we get a, we get some cool action between uh, Naruto B and uh, Raikage fighting, but um, nothing really crazy going on. At the end of the episode, we do get to see uh, Madara getting ready to take out the, uh, the what are they, the six Jinchurikis or whatever. So that'll be pretty sweet. Um, next episode looked like it was a fight episode. Who the hell was fighting? I can't remember. It was, uh... Oh, it was Kakashi fighting... I think the remaining swordsmen or something? I can't remember. But, yeah. Next episode looks pretty cool. Oh, I gotta say the manga this week. I can't remember the chapter number, but it was really bloody. Um, let's just say there's a there's a guy, man, and he, he kills a lot of people. And it's gonna be crazy to see in the anime. Like, are they gonna... Are they gonna do, like all this blood because I mean his face is covered in blood and there's blood just dripping everywhere and like dead bodies are hanging on like it's crazy um I liked it though uh, as for fairy tale 151 <laughs> we got a new intro and a new ending yeah I don't know the the opening and ending were both pretty good I gotta say this is probably the first ending that isn't in chibi style I think I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it's the first one that isn't and uh, the ending, fairy tales endings generally don't stick out to me. They usually, uh, they kind of suck. Actually, um, I don't know. I've never really liked any of the endings, but this is one of the better ones, I guess. Um, this is also the uh, final episode of the fillers. They're just kind of, they're they're killing off the filler characters in like the most like <laughs> obvious way that they're filler characters. They're basically going off onto a journey that they will never return from. So. That's their way of killing off like five characters or something like that. Yeah, who is it? There was, there was the night guy. There was the the guy on the, the octopus. There was Coco. There was the tranny, and then there was I think one other character. Yeah, I don't know. But yep, there goes those characters. And uh, we also get a really cool intro to the next arc. Um, we see these two new. I think they're dragon hunters or dragon slayers. And they're talking about how they looked up to Natsu and Gajil, and they're gonna kick their ass and stuff. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Also, we find out who the new leader of Fairy Tale will be. So, that was pretty cool. You good episode. I liked it. Uh, One Piece 567. Pretty much um a lot of reuse of Luffy punching in the same animation, but he's basically breaking down the Noah ship and ultimately uh what's her name? Shira Hoshi. She um she summons the the Sea Kings or whatever and they stop Noah from crashing down into the island and Happy days. I don't know. It was pretty cool though. We had a cool, uh, cool moment where like all the straw hats are beating their targets all at once while Luffy's like, was he giving a speech or was he screaming or something? I can't remember. But it was a really cool little, little like montage going down there. I liked it. I'm interesting. This it's it's I like in Fairy Tail or in One Piece. I love it when they have whenever they finish up an arc because they always do that like little celebratory like victory. Uh, a couple episodes after an arc, and that's pretty cool. Curious to see where they go from here. Uh, next up, we had Sword Art Online episode 14, which was insane. Um, this was the finale to arc one, I guess, or season one. Uh, yeah, they they end up. I don't want to spoil it. Um, let's just say a lot of stuff happens. They fight the main bad guy. Yeah, it was it was a really crazy episode. We get a really cool fight scene, and yeah, I liked it. Uh, we had Dexter Season 7, Episode 2, which was pretty awesome. Didn't end on a cliffhanger like last episode, but it was good. Again, I'm not going to spoil anything because this is a really good show. All I can say is 
it's, I don't know, it's looking really predictable the way I'm seeing it right now. But, it was pretty cool how the episode ended. Dead body flying through the air and like, Dexter getting covered in blood. It's pretty cool. But also, what's up with the scene where Deb's running with her ice cream cones? Like, like she, I figured she was going to drop the cones immediately after seeing the truck drive by, but she's like holding on to them while running for a little bit. Then she's like, fuck it, I'm just going to drop them. That was a weird scene, but <laughs> I liked it. Uh, also, this week, I finished up K-On! Uh, season 2. So I've officially finished the K-On! series, except for the movie, which I'm not... Uh, that's probably story-related, but... Um, I really don't like K-On! that much. It's... It's okay, like... If you're in a cutesy mood and you want, like, a... It's not really comedy. Just I guess if you're just in the mood for, like, a light-hearted anime, then yeah. But... No, nah, ultimately, K-On! really wasn't that good. Um, which is like 30 something episodes, I think. So, yeah. I don't know. Um, I started Steins Gate. Uh, I finished the first seven episodes, and I like it a lot so far. Um, it did start a little slow, but it's pretty cool. It's about time travel, and, uh, they use a microwave to. I don't, I don't know. They use, like, a, like, their microwave as a time machine, and it can, like, send text messages back in time. So, like, at the point I'm at right now, he was able to, like, jump into a parallel universe where like did he send the text or he didn't send the text I can't remember but it was it was it was really cool yeah it's a pretty cool one if you're interested in time travel um that's basically everything I've watched this week uh, I've been rewatching George Lopez but as for games Borderlands 2 still uh, a Medal of Honor beta yeah it's okay uh, I think that's it for games actually I just bought a couple new games so you'll see those in my new video and uh, yeah, I think that's it for the week. <laughs> Thank you for watching another Frazzleberry video. Have a good day.